I look at impact, it's not just going to be uh, created by the government. It's also going to be created by the companies, large companies. It's also going to be created by smaller companies, which are startups. Uh, it is also going to be created by academia. So Art Park is a place where we're bringing industry, academia, and government to work together on some of the large problems that we see as a nation. So I've spent almost close to 21 years in industry. Last 12 years have been as an AI entrepreneur. I built the first AI chatbot company out of India and seven years as an investor. I started the first AI focused venture fund called Pi Ventures along with Manish. And we invested in 14 companies, right? And we saw how these companies are now starting to become some of the leading companies across the globe. But still the number was actually a lot less. So we looked at ourselves and we said that if India has to thrive, become a $10 trillion economy, then there has to be more than 10x the number of startups that Israel is producing. Uh, we have started to focus on three large areas. First is digital and physical connectivity. We call it the mobility for the billion. Hi, this is Shridatta. I'm going to introduce you to the future of global businesses. This is uh, an art bot, the robot, the telepresence robot that we are developing here at Art Park and it has a autonomous mobile base, it has uh, this uh, communication device. Can you hear me Shashank? Yes. Yeah. So, so this is how it works, the, Shashank has logged into the simple application, art bot application and it is, uh, he is able to communicate with us from a different location. So we are going to show our walk and talk feature a little bit. As you can see, Shashank can easily follow me around the room. And while doing that, he can also move his neck and look at the room around. Yeah. The second one is what we call as uh, intelligent, accessible healthcare for everyone. One of the fundamental challenges uh, in healthcare for India is that we simply don't have enough skilled resources. We do not have you know, highly specialized doctors um, and in general very skilled health resources. Now what does that mean? Um, it means we need to use technology to bridge that gap and that's been the promise of AI always. Right? To just give an example, during the second wave of COVID, uh, we weren't able to do RT-PCRs fast enough. However, they were, I mean, India has x-rays uh, in lots of places, right? even in remote places. But to read those x-rays, we do not have radiologists. So for, we actually launched this service called X-ray Setu uh, and ran it during the second wave, where anyone could upload an image of an x-ray over WhatsApp, and we got back to them with an AI-based uh, sort of a reading as a support for doctors and radiographers who weren't used to reading x-rays that had COVID in them, right? This is just one example. Uh, the third one which we are focusing on is how do we bring uh, learning for AI age to 300 million uh, kids that we have in our country? Because human mind's potential is, uh, is unlimited in some sense, right? If you go online and see most data sets, they will be data sets from the West and they barely represent us as populations or our environmental conditions, right? So that's why we are actually working with ICMR, the Indian Council of Medical Research and IRC, to launch a large national initiative through which we'll bring together what we call gold standard data sets that are uh, well curated uh, in nature. This is important because the only way we are going to get data sets, especially for certain conditions, uh, Let's, we haven't solved TB yet, for example, right? Uh, and now actually more broadly, COVID has shown us broadly lung health is an issue. We still have the challenges of oral cancer, breast cancer, right? And for all these things, right, you need to really bring in technology to solve. And that's going to happen through data. Now, how does data come together? If you think of data that can be used for AI as say clean or high quality water. You need all the plumbing, you need the data pipelines, you need the process through which someone puts data into those pipelines, 
you need the curation cleaning processes and everything and this is where art park is specifically helping out a place like india we have all the problems in the world right we have uh, air, air is a problem uh, we have water is a problem uh, communication is a challenge transportation is a problem healthcare is a problem so we have all the problem uh, and the problem associated problem data around us so i feel that this is a very fertile ground for entrepreneurs technologists to build, build the next google or facebook out of india uh, so we feel that with art park we are creating the necessary foundation for such a startup to emerge out of india whether it will happen or not of course that needs to be seen but we are putting our best foot forward for that